Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity video. In this one I'm going to be talking about um, my games release that I did about a week or two ago. Um, I'm going to go through some of the survey responses from people who have tested it. I know quite a few more people tested it than did responses, but I, you know, I expected that. That's what always happens with, you know, optional surveys. But anyway, um, I'm going to go through basically what people suggested I do, don't do, uh, bugs, things I fixed. I've got a list of just changes that I've done since that. So I'm going to talk through those, explain what I want to do next, and then talk about, you know, the next update for people that they can test. So I want to start by thanking my patrons. Thanks to Michael. Um, welcome Norwegian Viking to my patron list from this morning. Uh, Paul Robinson, Fullborn, and Wesley too. Um, now that exams are over uh, until like June, I can you know, put in effort, start editing videos. Now I have time to, you know, a bit more time to put into that. So I'll uh, stop using snipping tool to show the patrons. Basically, I'll, get, I'll properly edit my videos. I promise next video onwards, which will be, you know, probably tomorrow, if not Tuesday. But anyway, um, so let's go through this list of things. So people were saying, okay, one, um, the health bar above the enemies, you could, because they were UI sliders, you could actually just grab them and, you know, move that slider which was a bit silly it's just something i forgot about but you know thanks to someone for managing to break it to find that um i fixed that very easily anyway um some updates to the spell ui so i'll actually go into the game now um oh just to mention i had some graphic settings for people uh, that i've added there's no audio yet anyway but for controls some people mentioned mouse sensitivity so i've added a slider that does affect the in-game mouse, sens uh, mouse sensitivity so if you go in here you'll see uh, i'll move my mouse around a bit escape settings controls move that up apply and then now it's like super quick and then obviously go change it back to around like here i might have like a number next to it to show your actual you know sensitivity number so if you change it and you want to go back you know exactly what it was rather than just guessing on the slider um but it's just what feels good you know I, i'd say that's still a bit too high but anyway um it's just there and it works and then if you press apply, it actually saves it to the settings file so that when you load up the game again, it, you know, saves it. Um, so that's what that works. Now with the UI map, I haven't done anything with quest. I'm about to do. I'm currently working on the quest system as we speak. The beastry, um, I'll get onto that explaining what this is. Uh, the inventory is still the same as it was. Equipment, I fixed the bug that people were saying. I mean, I already knew about this bug just before I released it, but I released it and then like, I was like, oh, I needed to do that. Oh, well. Um, basically if you clicked on any of these slots it would give you the rec the like head slots that were free um like the equipment i have that was able to go in the head slot it would show you for all of these so i fixed that it's quite easy fix i guess but now if i pick up armor it'll give you the correct slots and one other thing is as well as working on the quest system right now i'm also working on picking up items so if you walk into them it doesn't just pick them up anymore you have to walk up to them and then I'm going to make this in the next few days where if you get close to an item you can pick up a little like UI will appear next to the item saying like what it is and then press like E to pick up so you don't just walk in and pick loads of stuff up and you don't know what you've got it's just it'll come it'll come in the next few days uh, all the stats here are accurate now as well um, so that reflects what you actually have so obviously five mana regen just means five per second I can make this look nicer I've just shoved all the text onto here so that like the players can see the stats and then obviously i'll get on to making it look nice so for resistances i don't want to have fizz res fire res water res i want to just have resistances and then maybe some icons because one problem is all these words have different lengths so i have to you know rescale the text i have to auto size them for like arcane and stuff like that so i will make that look better but the main problem at the moment isn't about visual clarity it's about well does it work you know and then obviously here's the weapon bits i should probably move the player's thing view across because that's not centered the actual like ui bit centered but the camera thing isn't so i'll do that it's just a little tweak now for the spells people are saying um they want to know how much spells cost even though i've given them enough points obviously you need to know how many how much the spell costs that was fair enough so i've added it you know free spell points 20 mana whatever whatever uh i've just made it free for all of them and then also the, the um augments have prices so by default it's five um and if you click on an augment you unlock it but to do that you require the spell to be unlocked so unlock spell then you click on the augment and now that i've got it the price you know goes away so i've just got it if i click it again it selects it so that's obviously highlighted it's selected i could make it more obvious but for now that's enough it just highlights it and then if you click it again it disables it so in case you don't want the augment 
So for example, if I select uh, this one and add it to my hotbar, instead of just firing in a straight line, the um, fire blast will arc like a, you know, like a grenade. It basically uses gravity and adds more force, so it goes further uh, and it arcs. If I want to like undo that, and I can just go back to the normal one, there you go. Now, for the sake of testing, I've made the fire blast do loads of damage, so I can quickly kill these enemies. Um, and I'll get into that with the quests in a minute. So I've basically added some more stuff to let you know what's going on in the quest UI, like how much stuff costs and all that lot. Um, so that is good. What else have we got? Um, armor equipping, yep. Yeah. Rock curl, yeah. So a few of the spells weren't working properly. So for example, with rock curl, um, the normal rock curl was working where it goes into the ground and smashes it. Um, I've also added a bit of camera shake, which I need to tweak, but it works. I just need to tweak the values. Um, so I can also do the aiming at earth so it goes up from where I aimed at and goes to the enemy like that. Um, like so. And it adds a bit of force which knocks stuff away, so that's all cool. That, that wasn't working properly when um, I did the release, but it's fixed now, so that's nice. Um, Arrows and archery, I mean, I didn't change much for that, but it works. Uh, loading stuff, there were some problems. Camera shake, augments, um, ch -ch -ch, move weapon private, fix item missing. I mean, most of the stuff were just little bug fixes. I have added some new stuff since last time. So the main thing I've added is I've added an actual enemy. So rather than just these, um, you know, still enemies like this guy. Um, I've also added these new guys which I modeled and animated and everything. Um, so basically what they do is they've got an attack range. So if I run far enough away, they'll start, that guy will start moving towards me again. Though I've run out of its max range, so let me just aggro it again. There you go. So it'll move towards me and it'll wait and it'll fire. And it'll wait and it'll fire again. And it shoots these projectiles. I mean, obviously I can tweak visuals and everything, but the main um, logic is working, so obviously I can still hit them, and then they, they die in one hit because I've just made that thing for now. And notice how on the quests at the sides, um, it marked off the one out of one capsule dudes because I've already killed the capsule. Um, and then for these guys, I've, I've not got a name for them yet. If anyone has a good name, then uh, you know, feel free, go ahead. I need a name for these guys. I've just currently called them, you know, like a placeholder name of Limbo Enemy 01 because they're going to be in the Limbo Zone, not this zone. Th this isn't their habitat. Um, if you go to the bistro, you'll notice how now I've killed two of the capsules. Now, I haven't got a picture for the capsules, but the silhouette of this guy has now turned into an actual picture of him. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I just need to um, write some more info for them. And you get that info when you kill, you know, more of them. Uh, but the point is, yeah, so you can kill those guys. They work just like the other enemies. Um, and I just think it's pretty cool. I've got an enemy working that you have to actually try and dodge. Um, my, my health is ridiculously high because I made the leveling up give you loads of stuff. It was just for the sake of testing. Eventually, when I do certain updates, I'll be asking more for, like, people's thoughts of balance and what should be, like, numbers should be changed and stuff. I might even make, like, a web page on my web, like, a page on my website where it has, like, all the enemy stats so that you can see what the current stats are exactly and then comment on what you think they should change to be. Like, like my own, like, mini wiki page for my game and stuff, even though it's solely in development, it still would be nice to have one. Um, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's much else apart from, yeah, as I said, the enemy that I've spent a few days on making the enemy all work and properly, you know, chase, like I can knock it up and then it comes back down and when it lands it uh, starts attacking again and, you know, calculating the, like, velocity to set the arcing thing so it hits me. Because obviously when I shoot a spell, I just get my forward direction, but for the enemy it has to actually get where I am and calculate it and stuff. So it was quite interesting getting it all set up and working, but it, it does all work now, so that's good. When I add another enemy, it shouldn't take as long to go through the whole process, because it, it was the first process of me making a proper enemy system. Um, and now, as you see, when I kill the enemies, it tells the quest manager that that enemy's been killed, and then that'll go through all my quests and say, uh, do we have any kill quests active, and are any of them uh, to kill that particular enemy? And then if it is, we add to it and then check it off if we're done. So now, after this video, when I go back to working on it for a bit, I need to make it so that um, quests have stages. So for example, um, some quests will just have one stage where it says, you know, kill these things, you've done it, and then you've finished. So it might just say the quest name. But then certain quests might have different stages where you might have to do two tasks. Once you've done those two tasks, before you hand in the quest, you have to do another three tasks or one task or whatever. I've already set up that system. I just haven't got it to display on the UI properly. And then I also need to um, make it so that when I finish a quest completely, instead of saying the tasks are crossed out, I need to actually maybe say, you know, ready to hand in or, you know, 
return to whoever to hand in or collect your reward. So I need to have that part. And then and then obviously I need to make it so I can go somewhere and get my reward uh, and then make sure that all works properly. And then that's pretty much the quest system done, honestly. I can then just start writing quests and you know make everything work properly. Um, I've got that UI working for the quests. I just need to make this quest journal. So this will be more in depth um, as such. I mean, it'll be more like these pages. Uh, oh, one other thing people asked is when you're in your inventory and your beast and stuff, instead of mousing over and hovering to see the things, you just click and it sets it active. So you can click this, click that, whatever. But yeah, this stores how many you've killed and stuff. Now, if I close and press play, it should. Uh, I'm hoping this works. I haven't actually tested this much. At least I've not tested it with a quest system, but I have tested it with the other systems. So I'm semi-confident this is going to work. If I actually press continue, it should load everything from this file. Um, nope, there is a problem. Okay. Uh, to be honest, that's not surprising because I hadn't actually uh, tested that yet for the quest system. Uh, I could go fix that. Well, I will go fix that after this. But then, yeah, if you press new game, it will reset everything to its defaults. So... Um, that quest progress I just did when I start a new game, obviously it's going to clear that. So if I start again, it will say, all right, that quest, you still need to kill those things and all my spell progress has gone back. So that's when you start a new game, obviously. Um, I've made it so that quest is accepted upon the start of the game. I've added a, fe a functionality so that when you go to a new scene, you can have an optional quest to start because obviously... Um, in your game you might want to go to a new zone and then get a quest instantly without having to accept it so it's like a forced accept I don't know um, it's an optional thing anyway I just thought I'd add in case I want to do it so like this I want to do it for when the game starts but I could also just add a um, quest instead of having quests on the start of the scene I could have someone in the scene at the start of the scene that gives you the quest it's up to me it's up to whatever I want to do but the point is by mid-March, like March the 15th, I need to have this ready to submit as like a demo for this like competition I'm doing like in England. So, I mean, good luck to me. I hope I can uh, at least get to the finals. I, I don't know. Um, I've looked at the other competition and most of the games are like made in scratch. Um, and the ones that are made in Unity, like use default assets. I mean, the game isn't, the competition isn't just about coding. It's a bit about design, coding, art, sound. It's just the game in general, but they only expect, you know, demo games with like, a bit of gameplay they don't expect fully complete triple a games or anything so um between now and then i plan to finish the quest system properly to make uh maybe cutscenes and vendor like npc interaction so that's like the main things i want to work on between now and then uh and i'll probably do an up i'll probably release a version before then so people can test for bugs before i actually release it um obviously if you want to and you can also give feedback and about stuff to add and whatever else there is to do so I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video. If you've got any suggestions or comments or whatever, feel free to leave them below. Um, I'm going to quickly just skim through uh, some of these responses on the survey monkey thing because some of them were understandable. Like, obviously, I'm going to take everyone's criticism. I, I, it's always like the customer's always right thing. But some, some people were saying some things which just weren't true. Like, um, for example, um, I had sent with the game a text file explaining, you know, like a readme beforehand, and I know people aren't always going to read the readme, but at least if you're going to leave a, a response, you might as well read it, because, for example, can't swing the sword as if it was a bug, but I did mention I haven't added melee combat yet, that's something I need to do, because um, range combat is as simple as just, you know, spawning a projectile and shooting it off. Melee combat, you have to do, like, actual attack sequences and going from one animation to another, and you have, to, you have to do animations, basically, which isn't my strong point, which I will do. I will do more animation, but, um, yeah, um, obviously, yeah, some of the spells were just buggy anyway, so, you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> that's fair enough. I had to fix that. Um, I've done some of the things people said about the UI, like clicking to select rather than, like, the um, hovering. Also, some people mentioned with the inventory to make a, like, mini inventory, just like normal games have, like, bags, as well as a full screen inventory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little pop-up inventory which gives you the list of items you've got but it like misses out the like big description so you just get little mini tooltips on the items. So that's more of like an item inspector as such and then the like actual inventory bag thing is in the game scene. So I will be making that as well pretty soon. That shouldn't be too hard because I've already got the inventory system made. That's just going to be like a window for it as such. Um, it'd be nice if I could select and drag into hotbar um, I don't know what that really means because like 
the consumables, like the potions go into your hotbar and the spells go into your hotbar, but your armor goes into your equipment screen. It doesn't go in your hotbar. Like if you think of World of Warcraft, for example, your armor doesn't go in your hotbar. It goes into your armor equipment slot. So I don't know what that's about. Um, controls and how to equip an item. I mean, that'll be in the tutorial if it needs to be, but it's a simple, you just right click. It's just like some of the stuff's intuitive. I, I don't know. I, I want to hear what more people think about it. Um, yeah, like like this person said, inventory takes up the whole screen. Having a smaller one would be nicer. I'm gonna make a smaller one as well, but I'm not just gonna remove the entire inventory thing I've already made. Um, could the player move in the screen? Yeah, I might like have that separately. Uh, be on the bug or the yeah yeah that works. I fix that now. So I've done basically everything people have asked on here, and I've taken it all into account. Um, only one person said they had lag, so. I mean, I'll take that into consideration. I might add an FPS counter so that when people test in future, they can tell me their actual FPS rather than just what they feel like they got. Um, but, I mean, it performs well for people, apparently. Um, the formatting in this box wasn't good. Um, I don't actually know. Oh, wait, that's probably my friend who DM'd me about it. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, can't jump when running downhill. Yeah, that was one thing I still need to fix about jumping and like, ray casting, but that, that's just a little, uh, it's not a, um, one sec, I, I've not actually read that yet, I'll read that after this, because I'm not wasting the rest of this video just reading a long thing, but yeah, um, if you haven't already tested it, then you know, feel free to go test, but the problem is, if you go test it now, a lot of the things have been fixed, so it's not going to be that helpful if you tell me to fix things that have already fixed, so, I mean, it's up to you if you want to go test it, but if you can wait about one or two weeks, I'll be releasing version like a 0 0.02 or whatever. Um, and yeah, I hope you stick around for that. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe, it would mean a lot. But apart from that, thanks for watching and goodbye.